84th story from the Zen Flesh Zen Bones written by Paul Reps. This is 1290th day non-stop which we are trying to load it up. True friends, then the love blooms because these two were always separated and they were telling uh, that films are made if you tell a big story nobody want to listen so they tell a small thing and then they jump to another small thing another small thing and another small thing. by the end of the time you have already got the kick of listening so you got to listen to a lot of things so that small bits is created everybody wants shortest the social media is shortest 30 seconds reel and that 30 seconds reel is where the family crushed. Yes, the husband and wife have got only 30 seconds to make love. When they do that, they have a muscle sprain, a tear muscle. Yes, in the sports arena also you can see none of the sports teachers have been taught that there should be warming up and the stretching exercise. When I was in London, in the, the Tokyo Martial Arts Center, when I had a muscle pull that uh, that 60 year old man who was an eighth and black belt in judo he because i was managing the tokyo Marsh, uh, martial arts center in london uh, i just taking care of it because they give me a place to stay he said what happened raccoon and i got a pull i think i pulled my muscle and he said in my whole life for 60 years not in once i had this pull you know why raccoon it is because Every time before you start anything, you must warm up and stretch for one hour. And after your exercises, another warm up and stretching. When I look into that, I can understand. Look, the husband jumps in. 30 seconds, the love is over. It's not a rip. It's not a muscle pull. I had a muscle pull because the stretching for one hour is not a husband and wife, teacher and student warming up and Stretching before you come to the question, yes, a joke, an indirect experience uh, uh, story before you can come to the real story. When you do all those things, the real story to tell, it just finishes in 30 seconds. It's become very beautiful because you have enjoyed the arrow leaves the bow. It might not hit the target, but it will not miss. When you leave the bow, arrow leaves the bow, you've already done all the warming up and you're stretching. Yes, you, you, sometimes it might not, you don't worry about the answer. The moment you get the question, you are trying to do a warming up and stretching exercise of the question, trying to understand the question like in Aurobindo Ashram, you are not allowed inside the meditation hall in the dining hall for five years, minimum five years. Out of that, you are allowed, like the Japanese are taught that five years. If you meet a person and you call that person as a friend, for five years you will not allow the person to enter your house. You will tell, oh, my house is small, it's dirty, I cannot. They meet in a hotel or outside in a park and they watch for five years. Five years of warming up and stretching, the friend just melts with you and whatever you say and if he, he or she understands it's gospel or truth or it is Karnat music coming out from your mouth and it doesn't dissect you, you are allowed. Then only they allow you in the house, till then they don't allow like that the question before you could answer the answer it up you melted with the chapter that's why the nelly kelly come read write speak and listen and then the song and the dance and the street play come in one chapter it gets in brain every cell of the brain and the time comes it strikes without thinking answers flows without thinking you have several interpretations of answers for one question that's why you are called a genius here they could fall say skillfully, but this skillfully is unpractical. Practicality, the skill opens up of its own. <laughs> Every part of the body opens up its own. Then entering is very easy. All the doors are open. Red carpet is there to make love. When the, I can see the mountain before us. When the one played upon water, the listener would exclaim, here is a running stream. Then you fall sick. Immediately 30 seconds of rape. 
they immediately rape you, drag you to the hospital. Hospital doctors immediately again rapes you by an injection. But nobody is talking to you. Nobody is doing a warming up and stretching. I tell my people, if there was a sickness, bloody stupid. How dare you rush up to the hospital? You are mad. <laughs> they think, where, where else we can go? No, no, no. When you fall sick of anybody in the house, fall sick first. Take all the beds outside. <laughs> thorough cleaning. Put it in the sunlight to dry. Even the cot, thorough. The sickness come because cleanliness next to godliness was not there. You are brought to all your friends which the Japanese in Aurobindosh, five years, and you go every day outside to the office, you bring all your dirt inside the house. And the house is full of virus, never mind it happened. So clean the house, thorough cleaning of the house. And then make sure the sick person, they can take a very hot bath with rock salt water, rock salt. Or if they are very weak to take, Take a turkey towel and rub the whole body. But doctors tell me these patients come, they all sting too much. <laughs> Thorough bath. And make them gargle the mouth with rock salt water. Make them drink a the lot of water. Make them sit in the sunlight. Make them sweat, warming up. You are done, you are stretching. Then I am not telling you don't go to the te te temple or hospital. You go, the hospital becomes a temple. Yes. By the time you reach the hospital, maybe you intend to drive back. <laughs>